Hey everyone, for today's video, I was inspired by my friend Evgeny Kryushkin. He's an artist known to the art world as Zika. Take a look at some of his art. that Zika does in his artwork is he tells a story. So today's story that I want us to think about is a secret place. Where's somewhere you go when the world feels scary or you're overwhelmed? Is it a place in your house? Is it a place outside? Is it a hiding place that nobody else knows about? Could it be a memory or a dream? What makes you feel safe? Where do you go? Think about it. Let's take a look at this painting by Zika. What's the first thing you notice? Where do you think this secret place is? How does it make you feel? What colors did the artist use? What story do you think this painting is trying to tell? One of the things I love about art is that it's always open to the interpretation of the viewer, how you feel when you look at the painting. So a secret place doesn't have to be a place you can physically go. It can be a feeling that you get from an object. This is my favorite coffee cup. It was made for me by a very talented friend. I love the colors and the shape of the mug. It's part of my morning routine of getting a cup of coffee. So for me, this mug is a reminder of routine and peace. It's a secret place for me. So now that you've been doing some thinking about your secret place, we're gonna draw it. And your secret place doesn't have to be an actual place. It can be an object that you love. Maybe you have a blankie that you carry around. If you put that object in front of you while you're drawing it, or you're in the room that makes you feel safe, or you're hiding in your secret place, you can draw all of those things. Maybe your secret place is the beach and you don't really have that in front of you to look at. Google a picture of a beach, whatever helps you. The goal today is to have a picture when we're done that you can look at and say, oh, that reminds me of my secret place. Today I'm going to use watercolors. If you have canvas, you can use a canvas. Um, you can use paper if you have it. If you don't have any drawing materials, think about repurposing things. Can you use an envelope, notebook paper, or a cardboard box? All of th those things will work perfectly well. You can use crayons, markers, pencils, sky's the limit. Whatever you've got to get this on paper, that's what's important.
is a coffee cup I love and cherish that reminds me of feeling good in the mornings when I have my coffee. And the other, a picture of the beach where I'm always at with my family, somewhere I feel safe and relaxed. Keep these pictures with you, somewhere where you can look at them often. Maybe you'll put it in a fridge, maybe you'll keep it in your pocket. Wherever you leave it, make sure that you can walk by it and look at it and remember your secret place, your safe place. And remember, we'll see each other soon. Bye.